Hello, I wanted to give you some tips for presenting virtually and seeing in about 10 minutes, I am about to give a large presentation. So they're expected to be up to 800 people logging in from all over the country. And while I'm preparing, I thought this is a great opportunity to share with you how to prepare for a live virtual presentation. So I've been speaking and training for over three decades, and I still make sure that I prepare as if I am doing it for the first time. So that's tip number one, is prepare like you're doing it for the first time. So I'll go through all my slides mentally. The difference now is as a seasoned speaker, I'm not having to write things down. But mentally, I do the exact same thing that I ask all of the people that I coach and train and speak to to do, which is to say this, who is my audience? So my audience coming up shortly is going to be about 800 people, Fortune 500 company, and I'm going to be talking to them about maximizing their virtual presence. So number one, who is your audience? Then what do you want them to think to feel, to do as a result of your presentation. So as I'm preparing this morning, I'm going, I want them to be so much more comfortable with this medium, but I also want them to understand that it requires a shift of mindset and an acquisition of a skill set. So those are the two things that they have to know how to do because it's not as simple as just switching on a button and, well, you're on your virtual platform. It's how do I maneuver my slides? When do I go full screen and when do I show slides? So step number one, who is my audience? What I want them to think, feel and do. And hopefully that's helpful for you. And then am I technically prepared? So I'm going to be using the WebEx events platform, which is different to a Zoom platform and different to Adobe Connect. So what platform am I using? And then what does the platform allow? So does it allow for polls? Most of these platforms we know allows for chats, but another tip about all your virtual interactions is they need to be as interactive as possible because the tendency for people to multitask is so great that as the facilitator, as the speaker, we want to engage people and make them feel like they're part of things. So these are just some of the questions that you need to ask yourself if you're preparing for a presentation. And I go through all of those steps each and every single time. So I've got a week this week of different platforms. So today I'm speaking to a large audience. Tomorrow, I've got a smaller group. It's going to be very much more intimate and it's going to be on Zoom. So then I'll adapt both my speaking style, the type of videos that I'm going to use, the level of engagement, the kind of questions that I'm going to ask. But a simple question that I'm going to ask people in my small group tomorrow is, and it's a very generic question, but it's a good question, which is just, when you look at COVID-19 and you look at your life over this period, what's been something that you now view as positive? Okay, simple question, gets people thinking, gets people engaged. During the summer when I was teaching speaking training, I asked people how had COVID-19 thwarted their summer plans. And it was interesting because at least three people that I spoke to in that time were supposed to get married and two had postponed and one had had a Zoom wedding. So ways of engaging. And then on Thursday, I'm actually speaking to another group, but it's more of a training session. We look at training for your virtual presence. So once again, I'll be adapting my style. I'll be adapting the facilitation tools. But in every single instance, I'm looking for how do we engage? How do we engage? How do we engage? And then I'll be talking to students on Thursday afternoon. And these are sports interns. So these are a totally different audience because they're not even millennials. <laughs> they're generation wise. And these are young, young 17, 18 year olds who have just started college and how their lives have changed. But always saying, what can I share with them that is going to be transformational? And how do I adapt my style? And I think that's the key for all of us is as you embark on virtual training, on virtual experiences, on you being an expert in whatever your field is, please to ask yourself, and I'll reiterate it again, because I want to get to my WebEx event. And that is, who is my audience? What do I want them to think? to feel, to do as a result of this interaction, 
or this presentation or this communication? And then what are the tools of engagement that I can use to make sure that the experience is as interactive as possible? For those of you who I have not met personally, I'm Nadia Belchik. My website is nadiaspeaks.com. I'm excited to say I have a new program called Webcam Confidence. So please be in touch if you want to hear more. And just delighted to share my prep with you this morning. And if you've got any ideas about how you prep, prepare? Like, what are your tips? I know I have in my circle so many speaker friends. What are your secrets for preparation before a virtual presentation? I'm hoping you have a wonderful rest of the week. And if you are joining me on my WebEx event, look forward to seeing you shortly.